Yeah, the pool was, it's our 80th anniversary this year. The outer work miners and the village youth got together 80 years ago and built the pool without permission <laughs> on somebody else's land, but all that was sorted out afterwards. Uh, it was modernised with new heating, chlorination, filters, completely up to date uh, 40 years ago. That's our anniversary, 40 years. And it was built by the people of Ingleton. It's a voluntary organisation. It's owned by the Ingleton Rural District Council, Community Council, and the land's actually owned by the Parish Council. Uh, we're nearly all volunteers. Obviously, lifeguards have to be paid and professional people like that. But uh, a lot of it is done money raising within the village. We're getting to the stage now where we're ready for our next project, looking at the future. Number one, we do it for our children because my children, everybody's children, have spent the youth down here. It's like a youth hostel, a youth club. Uh, but it's more and more important for tourism because we've got caravan sites around here, grandparents bring their children, people need somewhere to go, and it's a real hub, a real buzz when the season's on. Unfortunately, the season's fairly short, but we're hoping to extend that in other ways with a splash zone where they don't actually go in the water, they run around, they can keep some clothes on. So we should get two months extra use out of the pool by doing that. 